Let's jump right into it. Shout out to Dan Rayfield, one time for the one time from the Box Clinic and more. Your boy CJ Goodfellow for dropping this gym down. And uh, I'm going to leave the article link in the description. It was our screen, screenshot coming up in Kenichi Agua, you know, whoever you, however you pronounce his name, who defeated Tevin Farmer back on uh, in December for the vacant IBF title belt that Javante Tank Davis lost on the scales versus Forsaco, um, tested positive for synthetic t- t- testosterone. And um, I get into um, the importance of t- 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 uh, testosterone and why the vacant testosterone is is, is frowned upon a ban- band as well. And if he's found guilty, um, according to the screenshot that's going to come up, um, you know, I think the, the, the fight should be ruled a no contest. And, um, you know, he's probably going to be suspended. And uh, Tevin going to have an opportunity to fight for the belt again. And hopefully the, the loss will be erased off of Tevin Farmer's record. And um, I thought Tevin won anyway by two points. And um, it's the best news Tevin got. Kenichi Agua, who controversially outpointed Tevin Farmer to win a vacant junior lightweight title on December 9th, was suspended Thursday by the Nevada State Athletic Commission for failing, um, for failing his drug test. He tested positive for synthetic testosterone. If the commission finds him guilty in the hearing in the coming months, months, the fight result will be changed to a no contest and he will be stripped of the title, obviously, in months. So they're going to do, hey, it don't take that long, but I guess they got to do their investigation. Unlike the WBA, which just slammed the book with little or no investigation like they did versus Peterson and Luis Ortiz uh, way back when with Peterson. Um, you know, we'll see. You know, he came over here and pissed hot in uh, the synthetic testosterone, testosterone. I don't know how I'm probably saying it. Um, yeah, I remember, you know, we talked about Peterson having the pellets under his arm. Um, he had a, a health condition that he failed to, to tell the either, either was USADA or VADA. And, um, you know, when you got synthetic to- testosterone in your body, um, that does everything. You know, it helps, you know, the muscle mass. You know, you put on muscle, it helps you, you know, you know, cut weight. It helps you feel more strong. It boosts the energy level. And we see those T-boosters that they sell at the store. And, um, you know, the doctor can give you testosterone as well. When you're feeling weak, you don't have the energy. It helps take your energy level to the next level. Um, you know, helps you put on nice lean muscle as well, helps your workout performance, it boosts you up. Now, synthetic testosterone, um, I guess that will be given by a doctor. You have to have medical clearance, you know, with the Nevada State Athletic, Athletic Commission and, uh, um, the, whoever doing the drug test. In this case, it was the Nevada State Athletic Commission who, who, who does their own drug test. And, and if you did, you saw Nevada, which I don't think they did for this fight. They can they uh, conduct their own. And a lot of people shoot down the state mandated drug test and say they don't catch nothing because all they really take is urine before and after the fight. But this this time he got caught. And it's funny, a lot of people they do get caught, but a lot of people don't get caught at the same time. Some people do get caught. Let me rephrase that by the state ca- commissions like Nevada, California, New York. You know the basic ones. Um, and some do get caught. You know, um, and when they, you know, when they get caught, you know, they don't have the most sophisticated drug testing. You know. Um, so that means, you know, one, they failed to, to put it on the medical clearance and failed to, uh, you know, communicate with the staff of the commission with their medical procedure or their medical, their medical need for it. Or two, they had, they didn't care or they thought it was going to beat the piss test and they didn't cycle on or cycle off or take it as instructed to beat the piss test. And usually that's what it came, come down to, or three, they unknowingly didn't know, but it's hard not knowing that you put testosterone pallets or somebody stick you with a needle and put testosterone in your body. It's hard not to know. This was uh, synthetic, so this had to be given by a doctor or somebody close to the situation. And a lot of guys do get it. You know, guys that's going into their 40s, that their energy level drop and the fat, and they want to get the fat off their body and get their energy boosting up. So, uh, you know, the coming months, so Tevin going to have to wait on the results of this. And um, hopefully they get this resolved pretty quick and he get to fight, you know, somebody for the vacant IBF title and the L come off his record. If Kenichi guilty, we gone.